for a thousand bucks, I can get unfinished cabinets from Home Depot for a thousand bucks, you know, and I paint them up, they're going to look brand new. That's well worth doing. So that's what we decided there. I'll show you more as we make progress. I'm going to tear this, start tearing this out today and, um, I'll show you the layout later. Well, there we go. We got the cabinet bought bases out anyway. So you know how one thing leads to another? Uh, as I took down the upper cabinet, it hit this pipe, which <clears throat> is probably not a good thing, but in some ways it's good because it was corroded and it broke off from in there. That in itself is really a project. Um, might have to cut that out. Well, we will have to cut it out somehow. Uh, so I'm going to just open this up and I'm going to also take out the whole kitchen part of the ceiling. That way we can get to the wires. This, if you could see the ceiling, which I'll show you in a little bit, it's really in pretty bad shape. And the other reason is I'm going to put soffits in for my cabinets. So right now this cabinet hangs on the wall, it sticks out here and there's that like upper shelf, which usually just catches grease and dirt. If you do a soffit, it helps make it look finished. My goal today, at least this morning, shouldn't take me long. We'll cut out this ceiling, cut out the wall here, and, uh, and then we can start thinking about running wires, roughing in wires. Well, it's been about an hour or so since I talked to you last, and I pulled down the ceiling. And more non-positive discoveries. Well, here's the, so here's the, here's the non-positive. No insulation whatsoever. So that means no insulation at all in the house. This rafter is totally gone. I'll put my finger right through it. It's uh, eaten by termites. Uh, I can replace this. I can slide in a new one. Uh, we have the beam here that it sits on. You slide it right in, and that will take care of it all. But, you know, more work, more expense. That ceiling joist closest to us is the one that needs to be sistered with a new one. So one thing I got to do is I got to cut back on uh, this one here so I get a place to set it, set the new one on the, the beam there. And I want to run it all the way outside. So let me show you here. We'll go outside. I want to run it all the way through here and through this side here because if you notice, that's rotted too, that other beam, or, or joist. So, um, I think that, that one there is just, someone threw that on there. So that's actually where I want the new one to go. Okay, it's actually the next day, and I just wanted to show you how this rafter turned out. You can see up here, I got it in place. Um, I still have a post there, and that's just because um, I still need to get something underneath that um, to hold it up tight against the ceiling because the plate's a little disintegrated from the termite damage. And I can do, see the two by fours up there, I can just screw that in, but I didn't have long enough screws, so I got those for today. It's a new day, and uh, get that fastened. Something else I worked on here, so you see the um, right behind me there, the soffit. That's where the cabinets will go, and then here with this section that's sticking out, that's uh, where the refrigerator is. So um, there'll actually be a cabinet above the refrigerator as you look at that, 
and I want the cabinet to come out flush with the front of the refrigerator, so that's why that's got that length to it. And um, if it doesn't make sense uh, as it comes together, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to try to continue to work on the, the next section there because the soffa goes here and it comes right around onto this wall too. So, all right. So I just want to take a minute and show you the uh, progress we've made with our framing. You can see uh, I've, I've more or less finished framing up the kitchen here now. Um, I put in this wall. Number of reasons why I did this. Um, one, it helps us put in uh, electrical. It also helps me, and we know the refrigerator goes here. The refrigerator will be, it's like it'll be recessed in the back instead of the front of the cabinets. So it'll be more or less flush at the front, which uh, makes for a nice, not down in, in a corner, you know, with the refrigerator. And uh, the, the second reason is my overall length on my countertop. Um, I can't get anything longer than, I believe it's 12 feet, or no, 10 feet on a counter. So from here to there, it's like 10 and a half feet, a little less. So this wall will allow me to, to get a standard counter length, uh, which will save me. So it's just all in all, it seemed to make sense. So we added that little wall. Uh, you can see, well, you can't see, but um, I also finished the soffit. I've added blocking for my uh, cabinets so to make it easier to screw them up. Let me show you the, uh, the uh, soffit above now. So we've added the soffit here. Um, cabinets will go underneath. And uh, I was happy about this, the way this turned out. I knew this, this soffit was gonna come out beyond this, this wall here. And uh, then I realized really all we had to do was flush it out so that it wasn't this funny jog in here. One last thing we need to do is move that uh, duct over which will involve a little cutting there, but that's all doable. Let me show you this other side. And the same on this side, we brought the, I think you saw this before, the, uh, where the refrigerator is, so it'll be, you can put a cabinet that'll be flush with the refrigerator, and then the other cabinets will be set back here. So that really does it for the framing in the kitchen. Um, next step is to rough in the electrical, and uh, once that's set and okayed, We'll uh, start hanging drywall and uh, take it from there. All right, that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. And um, if you like what you've been seeing, I'm going to try to keep a, a regular postings here, videos. Uh, take the time to subscribe so you can get it regularly. And I also appreciate comments. All right, everyone, take care.